Hi, I'm Matt Terrio, and today I want to talk to you about chargers. Chargers are fun. Hi, I'm back, and I'd like to talk a little bit about what's important in a battery charger. Uh, what a battery charger does is it separates the AC voltage from the DC voltage. Does that with isolation. All, all battery chargers in the stationary world do that. They control voltage and current necessary to recharge a battery. And then they provide statuses of the uh, output voltage, output current, uh, deliver alarms, ground detection, uh, the voltage of the AC, and provides that to the customer. Those are the basic building blocks of almost all battery chargers. Hi, I'm talking about topologies, and that is the stationary battery charger. There are really four main commercial topologies. The first one is a ferro resident and controlled ferro. This uses a particular piece of magnetics to control the output. The next is a high frequency switching, which is done in a lot of telecom work. There's a mag amp, which uses an inductor that's controlled in front of the transformer. And the last is the phase controlled output using SCRs. In this uh, broadcast, we're going to be talking a lot about that uh, last topology where we're using SCRs and we're controlling when they're being turned on. Hi, back again, and this time we're going to talk about all the different components within the battery charger. So we're going to first start out with some way in which the customer needs to connect to the battery charger. So there's some sort of I.O. connections that's being made. The next thing that usually is there is some sort of protective device in case there's a problem in the battery charger, like a circuit breaker or a fuse. And the next place it goes to is a transformer, and that's where we get our isolation. The primary winding is omically separated from the secondary. And what we're doing is we're running the secondary of the transformer at the right voltage for a particular battery charger voltage. After that, we go into an SCR bridge. And in the SCR bridge, we convert the AC on the second, from the secondary to the uh, output of the bridge, which is now DC. AC to DC goes on into bridge. The next place it goes to is a filter network and it includes an inductor, capacitors, other inductors, other capacitors, depending on how well filtered the charger is. Then there's something that measures the output and brings it back to a control board, which controls the phase angle of the SCRs. This gives us an accurate output voltage regulation and controls the output current. Once there uh, leaves there, we go to a device that uh, protects the DC and then to the output terminals where the customer connects the battery. Hi, are you getting a little bored at this point? I am too. Let's go through the AC pathways of the bridge so you can see how the rectifier turns the AC to DC. So. On the positive waveform, which I've shown in the blue here, we have the current voltage rising and passing through the transformer this way. And then on the secondary, the current passes this way. It passes out to the SCR, through the inductors, out the breaker, out to a load, comes back, and then it comes in the opposing diode, which is on the other side, which then comes in and rises up and ends up ending right there. That's the half cycle of the positive half cycle. The negative half cycle then goes in the other direction, goes out, goes through the other SCR, 
through the inductors again, out to the load in the battery, comes back in, and then passes through this diode, ends up right here. So that is the way the full wave phase control bridge works. And all we have to do is control how much the SCRs are turned on and the point in which the, it could be a little bit of current, a little bit of voltage, that would be a very narrow phase angle, or it could be full output, like a racehorse running down the tracks uh, by having full conduction angle. My motto is, if you have lots of options, you're going to have lots of options. And in a battery charger, that's what we put in there for the customer to monitor the output voltage, the input voltage, the output current, and we also monitor ground detection. These are important for a DC system because the DC bus is usually floating, not connected to ground uh, as opposed to the AC. And because of that, uh, 130 volt or 260 volt battery charger systems, there's a positive and negative ground fault to alert the customer that he's going to, that he has that connection made. Uh, the other things they look for is a high voltage DC alarm that might hurt the battery, and the other one is a low voltage DC alarm that tells you that the battery is uh, deficient in power to support the loads when it's needed. There's a no current alarm, and there's an AC failure alarm, and these are common in almost every battery charger. Well, that's just about it for battery charger LOL. 101! Oh, whatever. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Have a nice day. If you found this video useful and would like to see more of them, we urge you to give us your feedback. If you have a question of your own, please reach out to us on our contact form found on our website. We'd love to hear from you and we appreciate you watching our videos. But until then, you have a good day.